this in 20 years. How can I miss? That's human nature. That can that could have killed people. A uh, second case I'd like to mention also from the uh, airplane uh, disaster. Was not happy for our Taiwanese because it was the, one of the greatest or heaviest, uh, most tragic uh, airplane crash in Taiwanese uh, aviation history. Uh, I don't know whether you remember or not, uh, 15 years ago, and there was a uh, China airline that crashed mid-air in the uh, Penghu seas. And there was a lot of speculations, like, uh, could it be uh, a missile fire uh, from China? Uh, but they couldn't find any uh, any powder. So it wasn't definitely not a missile test. Then uh, again, NTSB, they spent like several hours based on uh, uh, Hong Kong exam. All the pieces in the official man gathered uh, from this wreck. Uh, and then notice one small piece of the deep slot. It was old and it was discolored. And the color is like a yellowish. And they examined it, it contains tobacco. That means the smoke was from cigarette. But they opened banned the cigarette, right? Twenty years ago. So that piece or that the the damage was caused 20 years ago. So they traced back. It was a China airline when they first bought a new plane from Boeing 747. And that plane once uh, uh, arrived at the Hong Kong airport, the old one, not the new one. And somehow his tail was too low. So the tail touched the ground and made a scratch. And the uh, China company, uh, China airline, just made some maintenance. And they just put a patch and the weld on that scratch patch. According to uh, Boeing maintenance manual, if something, some piece is scratched, you gotta use like a hundred thirty percent larger area of patch to put it on it and melt it. But they didn't do it. And uh, originally, I was more surprised to find that China Airlines took that very piece of huge large, the picture, four years before the accident. In other words, 260 lives could have been saved 